the sound system of traditional Turkish music. Every musical instrument should have a reasonable and coherent method of playing or a sound system, as you know. Because of this, first of all, I would like to give information about this sound system or, in other words, the sound system of traditional Turkish music. To understand or to explain this sound system, we use the European music system. So we must know some basic information about European music. First of all, we should know what flat, a sharp and a natural sound is and how they work. Flat deepens a sound. Sharp sharpens a sound. The natural sign change a sharp or a flat note back to its natural value. As you know, the seven notes are shown on scale in Western music. The things that I'm going to explain to you now work in every type of music seen anywhere with the same logic. The notes have the same values all over the world. These musical notes have spaces in between them. These notes have nine comma sounds, nine tones in between them, which means in a full sound space there are nine comma sound intervals. These notes have a four and a half comma sounds, that is, intervals in between them. So they've got half a sound space in between. If we take the space between La and Si as an example, we'll see that there are nine small fragments of the space. As I've told you before, there are nine comma sounds in between the notes. This small fragment is called a comma. Nine of them together form the space in between La and Si. Mathematically, the exact middle point of this space, that is, the fourth and half comma sound, is a musical note with two different names. But of course, it only has one sound, even though it's got two names. If we move La from here to four and a half comma sounds forward, that means we have sharpened the la. So we put a sharp sign here. This means this sign has sharpened the la sound four and a half comma sounds. The opposite could be applied to C. We can move C backwards four and a half comma sounds. Then it means we have reached the flat C. We show this with a flat sign. When I see this sign, I understand that the C note has been softened with a four and a half comma sounds. As you can see, there are two names for the same note. The notes with the same sound and different names are called unharmonic notes. The information that I've given you up to now is international information. That is, it's the same anywhere in the world. But from now on, I'll talk about Turkish music, which has some differences from that of Western music. These differences occur because in Turkish music, some sounds are used other than the sounds mentioned before. As an example, I would like to show you a note that is widely used in Turkish folk music and called flat C2. There is another sound similar to this one and used in Turkish classical music and called comma sharp C. This sharp sign, as you can see, is in the opposite direction. Like the reflection of an ordinary sharp sign seen in a mirror. And here, this flat C2 means that the C sound is sharpened by two comma sounds. And here, in classical Turkish music, this C sound is sharpened by one comma sound. So this is how it is shown. But because we are now interested in Turkish folk music, 
will see the signs and notes used in Turkish folk music only. In Turkish folk music, above the flat signs, we can see the numbers 2, 3, 4, and above the sharp signs, we can see the numbers 3 and 4. After these topics, when we pass on to the position seen on Balama, we'll use only two for flats and three for sharps. The other numbers will not be used.